Hello and welcome to being your best friend by Dia. Today I'm going to share with you my travel experiences that I've gathered over the years as part of my intense passion for traveling. It has happened both ways. As part of my liking for traveling and also due to my studies and work experiences. I've done my master degree from the UK uh, from the University of Leeds. So I have some lovely memories of touring the globe. I get emotionally attached to memories. I'm sharing my travel experiences from my domestic tours first. I really reminisce the time when I went to Andaman and Nicobar Island. I did something which I have never done before and that's deep sea snorkeling. I got to see a whole underwater life for the first time. An absolutely fantastic memory. Those of us who wish to do this activity, we had to float on the surface of water. The trainers who accompanied us were very cooperative. Here's sharing with you a short video from my underwater experience. ये सर थोड़ा डाउन के लिए हमको फोटो भी दे आधा आधा आएगा From underwater, let's plunge up into the sky. 
my helicopter ride was another amazing experience it was a joy ride in my hometown kolkata like underwater this too was my first time experience the take off was my favorite part i love adventure and speed so no wonder helicopter always fascinates me the aerial view was absolutely beautiful i had captured on camera part of the view but the real feel was so amazing that i turned off the camera and was just lost in its charm hope you didn't get annoyed by the sound though <laughs> that's the original sound that i prefer to keep moving on to the mountains now this is the beautiful and the holy city of pushkar coming up had heard a lot about pushkar and this was my second trip to rajasthan the first time we could cover only jaisalmer jodhpur bikaner and jaipur it takes some quality time to tour something as majestic as rajasthan So this time it was Pushkar and Ajmer. Wonderful as always. It was mid December. So <laughs> this freezing cold at 4 degree. That's the view from my room coming up. Mist glass mountain makes me go crazy. I feel that's a very very poetic combination. It's always a delight to find peacock on the roads. It takes one by surprise. Got that view in Pushkar. Absolute serenity is what we got there. Ah, reflection. Reflection shows the reality. Shows who we are. Here's coming up a pool reflection of nature. I love to explore places, culture and very small little things gives me joy. Grayscale has its own charm, isn't it? A different level of nostalgia. that's an unmatched fantasy Here's coming up Mahabaleshwar in Maharashtra. But before speaking about it, 
I would confess that Mumbai is my favorite city in the world. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, that I have traveled enormously across the globe, but I couldn't help but shift to Mumbai. Mumbai, city of Lord Ganesha. I fall in love with the city every single day. This pool view is part of my location viewing for my first film Garjan and Unforced Fiction. Was planning a shoot in a resort. Uh, this was just before Durga Puja in Kolkata. So you would see in the upcoming pictures and videos, there is Kash Pool. That's a Bengali term which symbolizes the beauty of autumn. The tradition and heritage that's associated with Bengal is at its peak when it's Durga Puja. It's an unmatched love of the festive spirit. I prefer to keep things as real as it was. Sound has been presented to you as original as it was. What's your idea of camouflaging? You are most welcome to share your views in the comment section. I personally don't like to camouflage. I like to keep things real as it is. Mm, I feel that's where the real beauty lies. Originality. This is a part of my location viewing for my film Garjan and Unforced Fiction. Well, that's my reflection. Love exploding nature. Its beauty, its majesticity is a splendor. I couldn't combine all trips in this video, but we'll do that soon. Every nook and corner of the world that I've been to has added to my perspective of the world, how I view the world from local spots to global attractions. There is so much to unravel. Like I've shown you deep sea snorkeling, there are several other water sports as well that I've done and I loved it. <laughs> like jet skiing, parasailing, that was in Goa. Those were another breathtaking experiences. Up in the air in a parachute, uh, like a parasailing. <laughs> And I felt like I saw the whole world around me up there. <laughs> Here's coming up some glimpses of decorative spirit of nature. <laughs>
the next visual you'll see some tint of colors colors add magic to our life like the bright sunshine and its various ensemble stretching across the depth and breadth of the world i love to experiment with colors such experiments range from my attires to my audiovisual works what's your perception of colors <laughs> drop in your comments It seems only I'm going on speaking. <laughs> Best friends make both way interaction, right? Here's coming up another pool reflection of nature. So drop in a comment. What's your thoughts about reflection? And where do you fancy to see your best reflection? yet another expression of color or rather it's the best expression of color from my personal perspective and that is the sunset coming up few stills from my sunset views in mahabaleshwar on a chilly winter evening that took my breath away <laughs> The next picture is the nature's artistic expressions by how it blends color in itself. Adding to this, sunset views have its individual appeal when seen from mountains and sea beach. both are distinct have some sunset and beach combo later in this video dry trees stems fascinates me a lot
It captivates the artist in me. Here's coming up Death of Mountains. On the way to Mahabaleshwar, we came across the alleys of Lunavla and Khandala. The whispers of the hills lets you hear the whispers of your soul. The vastness of the sky embarks an unending journey of my inner self that motivates me to look forward to the ceaseless crack of dawn. I love depth, deep thoughts, touch of the infinity. The never ending stretch of the limitless sonority of nature is just so beautiful. I love to delve and lose myself into the magic of unpredictability. Hey, what's your take on unpredictability? Are you someone predictable or you love to offer and receive surprises from life? <laughs> Waiting for your comments. We were discussing about death. Here it is the Vena Lake.
if you seek deeper there is depth in each moment of nature and life Do you believe in Santa Claus? Here's coming up a Christmas bell that caught my eye when I was out with my mom. This one is in Mumbai. My mom used to come up with Santa Claus gifts every Christmas. <laughs> I feel gifts from life are always so so special. I have written few lines about the journey of life. Hope you would like it. It's coming up towards the end of this video. <laughs> Till 
then let's watch some more delight of nature. One of the finest tourist destinations in India certainly includes Kerala. I have happy memories while I have equally devastating experience of a completely unalarmed high tide and quicksand. Don't want to talk about negative things here. We'll share with you some other time. Would only say that my present day development of a spiritual mindset is greatly dependent of my connection with God that took place in Kerala. He saved me. He protected me. The photographs that I'm showing you here are the ones taken a day after my life-threatening accident. Camera was washed away in the high tide. A sea, 
Often it's rough. Often it gives us giggles with its tender touch. Unpredictable as always. Like life. Here's something which I always wait to get a view of. The best pair, the best combination which I feel is the sunset and a beach. Soothing cacophony of tantalizing mirage triggers to follow paths uncharted. The most benevolent breakthroughs transpires in such beloved. The setting sun doesn't always indicate the end. It's the pronouncement of ceaseless crack of dawn. That's few lines I wrote. <laughs> Thanks for watching. May Lord Ganesha bless all.